You want some help with that? I don't think you can help. I'm just trying to open this jar. You know, life isn't orderly. No matter how hard we try to make it so, right in the middle of it, we die, lose a leg, fall in love, or drop a jar of applesauce. I don't see how that's relevant to this situation. Oh, uh, it isn't, but I can open your jar. Store-bought jars are usually hard to open because of a tight seal and strong vacuum pulling the lid onto the jar. If you buy a jar that's hard to open because of a tight seal, then this is probably a really good indication that the food is safe and fresh. This tight seal is made with two primary methods. First, mechanical vacuum capping, where the air is sucked out of the jar during capping, and steam flow capping, where a jet of steam is pushed into the headspace during capping. Mechanical vacuuming just makes sense. You form a vacuum around the jar, cap it, and then when you remove this to a normal environment, the low pressure in the jar will continue to suck the cap onto the jar. But in steam flow capping, how do we create this seal? Well, firstly, most jar caps will have a circle of plastisol, a kind of rubbery plastic, on the reverse side of the cap. This is called the gasket, and it's the surface that's actually going to seal against the glass. High heat, in the form of steam, will make this softer and more malleable to the jar's surface. And secondly, the steam itself will create a vacuum thanks to a process called thermal contraction. To understand this process, we first need to have a good understanding of heat and temperature. Most of us understand temperature through our sense of touch. We sense something as hot or something as cold. Really though, what we sense as hot and cold can be boiled down to the movement of molecules in the objects we're describing. In cold matter, the molecules move slowly, but if the same matter is heated, the molecules begin to move at a faster rate, requiring more space to move around, and so the entity they're a part of can get bigger and expand. This is called thermal expansion. When the entity then loses heat and cools down, the molecules move less, need less space, and so the entity will contract. This is called thermal contraction. Metal expands in the midday heat, and so bridges have seams throughout called expansion joints that allow for this expansion. If these expansion joints are not included, then the bridge might buckle. Electric power lines also expand with heat, and so you actually might see them sag by the middle of the day. So now back to jars. In steam flow capping, the lid is added while the headspace of the jar is being flushed with steam. And this creates the important role of jar opener in every Australian household. And now you too can enter that most wholesome and enviable profession of jar opener. And it doesn't work on all jars, but as a general rule, you don't need rubber bands, glad wrap, bottle openers, a boyfriend, rubber gloves, a hairdryer, hot water, or whatever this thing is. All you need is a thin but weighty implement like a knife and look for the sharp corner where the glass meets the lid, give it a couple of taps to break the seal and voila, your jar should open. So next time, be your own hero and best brawn with brains.